hi guys um so this is my first video blog um i've been watching lonely girl a lonely girl I really a lot of you are we in 2006 me. this is the reason i, really like I started youtube i really like a lot of you guys on here i really like pay to the order of of of, of two. two you're really funny and um is this a real youtube real video is she a youtuber really interesting you seem really the nice. first hoax mm -hmm. And then there's the wine cone or wine. I remember him. Wine. wine cone. That was one of the first people I subscribed um, to. Well, I guess a video blog is about me. My name is Bree. No, it's not. I'm 16. No, you're not. Uh, I don't really want to tell you where I live because. Because it's fake. Because it's fake. I don't really want to tell you where I live because. Smart. You could be. Like, Smart. Me. Good girl. Oh, well, what you need to know about my town is that it's really boring. Like, really. How boring is it? Really. Really boring. I am um, so confused. That's probably why I spend so much time on my computer. <laughs> I don't get this. I don't get this video. <laughs> I didn't really have a plan for this video blog. This is a complete lie. Because but it's a studio. I guess I'll just do this. I remember when. I remember. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> I saw her on Greek after this. Okay. Oh my god, no. I don't know what I'm doing. Bye. She's so goofy and quirky. <laughs> I'm so confused. Did, were you making faces with her? Yeah, I was. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> How am I supposed to react to that? That was a nice throwback. Is it Thursday? So what did we just show you? I don't know what you just showed me. A video blog of a girl. It was somebody's first vlog. Lonely Girl 15. She was like one of the first internet hoaxes. You showed me Brie, aka Lonely Girl 15, who is arguably the first super popular blogger on YouTube. At the time, I had a really bad breakup, and I didn't want to put myself out on YouTube because my ex-girlfriend would be like, you are so self-centered. And then I saw her do it, and I was like, yo, if she's doing it and people make fun of me, I can just be like, she's crazy too, guys. And then I started vlogging. Explain to those unaware about Lonely Girl 15, what is the history of it and why do you know it? So I was on YouTube before Lonely Girl 15, and it sparked this entire controversy. People started wondering if it was real or not. It was revealed that, no, no, they were very staged. They were written in a Band. She got exposed! Drama! She was like an actress, and it was all set up. This was like the first real YouTube drama. So this is a vlogger from the early days of YouTube that at one time was the number one most subscribed channel on YouTube. Really? I have a question. Yeah. Did any of the YouTubers not know who she was? You think Andrea Russett's gonna know? You think Leah Marie Johnson is gonna know? And her channel name was Lonely Girl 15 Yep, I've heard of her. That's her! I've never actually seen her or like watched her videos, but I've heard of her and like she's like a urban myth or something. So the reveal here is that she was a vlogger just like any other vlogger that you'd see on YouTube, but it turned out that it was fake and she was an actress and the whole thing was scripted and made by a production company. This bitch. They trolled the world basically. <laughs> I was sure that it wasn't fake. One of my very first videos was mocking the fact that people thought that it was fake. It was cut and edited so well. I emailed her and she emailed me back. That At, at that point you could not tell me anything else. Whoever thought of to pick a pretty girl um, script her life out and like take advantage of this rising platform was like so smart. So this was the early internet and was one of the first times that something on YouTube made national news. Why do you think this became newsworthy for traditional media back then? Probably because YouTube was like not even a thing back then. Traditional media, I'm sure, um, guys were like sweating, thinking like, why are they investing money into this? Like, are, should we do the same thing? That really mystified people. We kind of regarded this whole thing as like, oh, whatever, it's for cat videos, it's, it's illegitimate. And then for someone to come out with such production value behind it and like make itself popular, I think that's when a lot of people are like, oh, maybe there's money here. Somebody was able to pull off this huge hoax that like just fooled the whole internet, you know? This was like a big thing, like no one had done anything like this before. Once this happened, the concept of something being fake on YouTube started to become even larger of a thing, in part due to Lonely Girl 15. We can blame you for this Lonely Girl 15. She cursed us all. That's so cool. She caused the, the faking gay. Someone else caused the gay, but she caused the fake. We have to question everything now. Everything can be staged. Kinda sucks. Some things that are real, people are gonna call it out. I remember thinking that about Miranda sings, like, 
this girl has to be fake. <laughs> and of course she's not, now that I've met her, you know, she, she's really like that in person. My stop motion videos constantly had like, oh, this is also fake. It's like, yes, yes, objects are moving by themselves. It is indeed fake. So it was one of the first hits of YouTube and it continued with multiple channels with a crazy story about the occult and supernatural elements. Supernatural things happening? It was kind of like Lost, where, you know, the first episode is like, oh, I see where they're going. And then by like season four, you're like, what? Like, they, have they been reading the fan fiction too much and then just running with it? Why do you think it still was able to last even though it became something that was fake, which angered a lot of the YouTube community at the time, but it still was able to continue? It works because people are curious. When they find out it's fake, they want to keep watching. You see this a lot in YouTube world. People try to shock people. And nowadays, if that happened and everybody really 100% believed it, that would have got millions of views. They were like already fans. So I think the idea that she was fake was still just like, well, I like that character, I guess. It's not her, but it's still someone I feel like I can relate to. Maybe after they understood it was faked, uh, they saw it just like as any other show. Like, I mean, technically, everything on TV is faked. There was these two factions, the, the ones that was like, this is fake and it's awful, and the ones that were like, this is fake and it's okay. I have channels of people that I watch, even though I hate them, just so I can be like, what's this guy doing? Oh God, f stupid dislike. But I won't unsubscribe. Haters are just like, obsessed fan girls gone wrong. You think about it, it's just like, I hate this. It's like, I hate Soldier Boy, but you're here every single video leaving a comment, bro. Same thing with Lonely Girl, it's just like, they couldn't stop watching. So what kind of legacy, if any, do you think Lonely Girl has on the history of web video? I mean, I didn't even know the full story and I knew the name. So she definitely has a legacy. Question everything. That's the legacy she's left behind. The first YouTube scandal. <sighs> oh yeah. So if you see a comment that says fake, blame Lonely Girl. She taught young men the most valuable lesson of all, and it's that you shouldn't trust the pretty girl on the webcam because it's probably a company behind it that just wants your money. It's representative of a time I think when uh, the internet was still very innocent, it's really just, you know, creators that were just experimenting with different mediums. The production team behind it really put a huge stamp on the internet. It wouldn't, I don't think it'd be the same if not for these guys. So finally, what kind of thoughts does it give you that here we are talking about an old show on YouTube and that there's a legacy and history to what all of us pioneered? I know, um, it makes me feel really old, so thanks for that. It just goes to show like how quickly things change. It's great because it shows a maturity in the industry. It represents our beginnings. I'd like to say we've, uh, we've grown as a people and as a medium. If Somebody went back in time and was like, hey, this Lonely Girl 15 thing is just the beginning. There's gonna be like super expensive shows that are made just for YouTube. Would have said, no, it's it's my little niche thing. I discovered it myself. I have kids that come up to me saying like, I started watching you when I was a freshman in high school. I just graduated college. <laughs> like, that's crazy. That's so weird. I've been on React ever since I was little. And the fact that people can look back on that and they're like, oh, well, she was so young and like, oh, memories. And I'm like, yeah, they were my memories and they're also your memories. Like, you grew up watching me. It's just weird. It's just funny because I feel like media still sees YouTube as this new creature that's like, oh, wow, look, you know, this is where all the kids go. You know, this is the new big thing. It's not new. It has history already. Where are we going? Where is this train taking us? That is, I answer your question with a question. I almost want to interview you guys. Can we, like, get you guys in the hot seat? start asking you questions on this one. Hey guys, my name is Jack. I'm 16 years old. Thank you so much for watching this episode of YouTubers React. I love you. Make sure you subscribe to all these sexy people down here. They are not fake. I'm Anna Akana. Stay awesome, Gotham. Thanks for watching. Bye.